I actually always wanted to come to MCG. Um, I really knew about MCG's very excellent reputation, um, both as far as kind of the academic training and also the kind of clinical exposure that students get here. Um, and I knew that at the end of my training, I would have the potential to be a very well-rounded physician. And that was extremely important to me, you know, to be able to do that. Um, so that, along with kind of just the wonderful people that are here, um, you know, since, since being a student here, I've really realized just how amazing everyone is as far as, you know, um, you know, being so supportive and really mentoring the students. And uh, my classmates have been amazing as well. So I think for all those reasons, I, I'm, I'm so grateful that I've been here. So for dermatology, you have to complete um, a preliminary year, um, typically in internal medicine. So you'll do one year of you know, usually internal medicine, um, and then you'll do three years of dermatology. So for me, um, I'll be doing one year of internal medicine at Mass General Hospital in Boston, and then I'll be returning to um, Augusta for my dermatology training. My journey into medicine really started kind of when I was in high school, and so my grandmother um, at the time was battling AOS, and so she lived with us at home and was on a ventilator, had a food tube, um, and basically couldn't you know, speak or move at all. And so my family and I basically around the clock would you know take care of her to help manage her care. Um, and during that period of time, I think when I was taking care of her, it really you just opened my eyes to the importance and value of medicine and kind of all the treatments that were involved in her care. Um, and so that. I think experience made me realize that I want to pursue medicine um, and then also in India my grandfather was a surgeon and so his um, kind of experience there was definitely an inspiration to me as well when I was taking care of my grandmother in high school actually um, you know since she couldn't move or speak at all um, a big aspect of her care was kind of managing her skin and so my mother and I would often you know change her position so she didn't get bed sores um, I would help bathe her I would you know moisturize her and so um, that period of time where I was managing her skin, um, you know, not only prevented, um, you know, out external kind of complications, but prevented more serious internal complications as well. So that really opened my eyes to kind of, um, you know, the value of dermatology in a critically ill patient. Um, so that was kind of what got me into dermatology to begin with. After residency, um, I'm really hoping to pursue a career in uh, more academic dermatology. Um, you know, I love the idea of being a lifelong learner, working with you know, other faculty, residents, medical students, and teaching. Um, and I hope to really focus on you know, working with underserved patient populations since that's been a really important interest of mine. I am a big uh, fan of creative writing, especially poetry and prose. Um, that's been a big part of my life since I was a little girl, even. Um, and so a big experience that I've had at MCG is working with The Antidote, which is um, our narrative, narrative medicine humanities journal. And so working with that as the editor-in-chief, um, we've gotten to publish so much amazing um, poetry, prose, artwork from you know, students and faculty from across the allied health schools. And so um, being able to you know, show my creative side in medical school has been um, such a rewarding experience for me.